this is Matt on the Moon Family Sedan channel, and here's a headline from the Crypto Basic. Top Market Watcher says XRP to hit double digits eventually. And they share perspective from an individual named Nick, a uh, crypto crusader. Uh, what's the what's the handle? At InCash Official. And I wanted to share this with you because I generally agree, and this is a message that I've been sharing for a long, long time. Although I acknowledge that there's risk holding any asset, including XRP, and hell, maybe it goes to zero. I just don't believe that that's the most probable outcome. In fact, um, even though I'm not willing to make a price prediction, I fully acknowledge I, I don't know where the price is going to go. To me, the idea of XRP never hitting a new all-time high ever again, the, like the best is already behind us back in early 2018, that just sounds completely absurd to me. The idea of XRP uh, not to being worth you know, $10 or $20 or $25 in the future... That's, you're saying that's not going to happen based on based on what? Like to me, the idea of that those types of price levels never occurring are ridiculous, especially when you compare what that would mean in terms of market cap when compared to the all time highs of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, I just it's not remotely fantasy land stuff. It's it's very realistic. Um, and, and again, I, so I I don't know for sure technically if it's going to happen. So fine, I, I'm just just being real, but. In terms of what I think is most probable, well, I've already placed my bet. Let's just say that. There's a reason XRP is my largest holding in crypto and uh, my favorite cryptocurrency. But, <coughs> excuse me, folks, sorry about that. I came out of nowhere. But uh, before going further, I do want to be clear. I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice. And you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. And so rather than read the article, I'm going to go straight to the source, which is what prompted them to write the article. And I just think in times where there's uncertainty, um, just having what I perceive to be a very r rational, very reasonable uh, you know, perspective on the future of XRP, just to share that, I think it can go a long way. So here's what Nick Crypto Crusader had to say. If you were around in 2020, then you probably know of the historical XRP $20 to $30 price predictions. Although they never morphed into reality, I do believe we will see a double-digit XRP eventually. I was paused to note here that, well, certainly I do agree with that. Um, I want to add something, though. I think if, if not for the SEC suing Ripple and, and resulting in the tanking of, of the price of XRP, I think that when, uh, when the market had its run in 2021, I think that it's a virtual certainty that XRP would have hit a new all-time high and just blasted through the stratosphere. I really think that. And, and part of the reason I think that, I mean, obviously you could already see that the price was suppressed right after the news broke in late, late December 2020. So you could see that. And yes, XRP pumped a bit, but... A lot of people were hesitant and weren't, weren't willing to jump in that otherwise would have, but not for the SEC. And XRP is the only top 10 cryptocurrency at that time that did not hit a new all-time high. It's the only one. You're kidding. So you got to be kidding me. Like one of the most well-known, uh, useful cryptocurrencies on the entire planet, and that's the one that didn't hit a new all-time high? Oh, and it just happens to be getting sued into oblivion effectively by the SEC. And I know they're suing Ripple, but the end result is that it's harming XRP holders. That's why I said it like that. And it just happens to be the case that XRP is the only one at that time in the top 10 that didn't hit a new all-time high. So I don't know that without that XRP would have hit 20 or 30 bucks. I'm not saying that either. But but to not go to a new all-time high and, and jump up a bit past that entering price discovery, that's absurd to me. And so what Nick's stating here is resonating. I just wanted to add that little bit. And then he says, and by the way, that's another reason I think it's coming. Like It is, as far as I'm concerned, a virtual inevitability. And I acknowledge I could be wrong. I always do that because I admit I don't know for sure. And it's it's risk. But I just have, I, I, although I want to be clear, and that's why I do that, I have personally a very high level of confidence, which is why I put a lot of my financial well-being on the line holding this position, and I sleep easy at night. Anyway, Nick continues. The SEC suppressed price action greatly on XRP. I do wonder where we would be today if it weren't for the lawsuit. Thanks for protecting retail investors, right? The good news is that we still have the opportunity to accumulate under 50 cents, and we might even get a chance at 20 to 30 cents again. Today we know that Ripple is expanding its crypto offering to institutional giants through tokenization, liquidity, 
uh, liquidity management, central bank digital currency slash stablecoin issuance, and much more. Uh, the XRP ledger continues to thrive with incredible development updates, user activity and growth, as well as more and more use cases. Yes, yeah, so I'll pause there. Absolutely true. And despite the SEC nonsense, there are more developers building on top of the XRP ledger today than one year ago. Think about that. We don't even have the finality in this case yet. And people the world over, developers, just like, yeah, I don't give a damn. This is awesome. I'm going to use it. That's pretty much it. And I don't know if we will, like he says here, not sure if we're going to get 20 to 30 cent XRP ever again. But if we do, I mean, that's not crazy. Um, you know, even the blockchain backer was recently saying that it's certainly possible that we could see 30 something cent XRP again. Doesn't mean for sure we'll even get that. But, you know, it's, it's fair to suppose that's certainly possible. There's nothing crazy going on there. But I just, I, st I still maintain my position that all of the price action from, you know, basically when, when I jumped into XRP up to this point, ultimately none of it's going to matter because one of two things will happen. And I've held this belief since the very beginning. Either XRP goes to zero or it's going to hit a new all-time high. It can't hang around at this price range forever. It's just not going to happen unless you think that the crypto asset class is always going to be this size. But how ridiculous is that? Adoption is obviously increasing substantially. Utility is increasing. More people find out about it. The longer it lives, uh, the more credibility the entire asset class has. Of course, it's going that direction. So XRP is not going to stay here forever. That, uh, uh, now, that I feel 100% certain of. Uh, it doesn't mean I have 100% certainty that the you know goes to the upside. There's a small, I think there's a small percentage chance it goes to zero, but I, like I said, I think what's way, way, way more probable is that it, it does hit a new all-time high. And I think if you fast forward decades from now, what's most probable, based on all information available today, is that XRP is going to be still in the top 10 cryptos by market cap and probably have a multi-trillion dollar market cap. I would not be surprised to see that in the least. And then he says, uh, there is so much more substance behind XRP today than 2017 and 2018, for example. I have heard arguments of there never being an all-time high for XRP again. It's ridiculous. The market cap of Bitcoin at all-time highs was just over $1 trillion, and Ethereum has over $580 billion. It's absolutely crazy to think that XRP will never be worth $500 billion to $1 trillion plus with everything happening behind the scenes. Patience is a virtue. Those who see the vision will be rewarded. Yeah, and I'll, I'll say this, and that's well said, Nick. Uh, you know, this is why, I, and I mentioned this yesterday, it, it pays to be, or it, it pays to have this level of forward thinking, or at least it can, before the rest of the world agrees. Because by the time everybody else agrees, yeah, of course, that always made sense. By the time everybody says that, the, the real opportunity is gone. But the, we're not at that phase. The real opportunity is still here. And so as far as, the, consider this. So Bitcoin is all, at its all-time high of close to $70,000. Its market cap was somewhere actually closer to like $1.3 trillion, I believe. So, and uh, and again, so in Ethereum, it's all-time high market cap, about $580 billion. Um, and I'll just take Nick's word for that. I didn't double check that before recording and I didn't recall, but that sounds about right. So consider this. For if XRP hits $10, that's a $520 billion market cap. So that's still a little bit below uh, Ethereum's all-time high market cap. So if you're talking about maybe closer to 11 bucks, you're probably there. And you're telling me that XRP can never hit that ever? 10 or 11 bucks? Now, and now if XRP were 20 bucks, that would be a $1.04 trillion market cap, roughly. That's less than Bitcoin's all-time high market cap. You're telling me that it can't hit that? Isn't Bitcoin going to be worth way higher than its previous all-time high at some point in the future? I mean, isn't that plausible, at least? And then if, if XRP hits $25, that's roughly a $1.3 trillion market cap. That's, that's Bitcoin's all-time high market cap, roughly. And so even if Bitcoin, uh, in theory, ends up always being number one in terms of market cap, and maybe that's the case, I'm not necessarily convinced of that, but even if okay. it is, I found whoa, this on the web Siri just started, Siri just started, to, shut up, Siri, you little bitch, I wasn't talking to you. Did you, <laughs> God damn it, Siri. <laughs> Thanks for nothing, interrupting little bitch. <laughs> what, what the hell was I even saying now? Um... <laughs> I hope the mic picked that up because otherwise it's going to sound like I'm talking to myself. But my, I, whatever I said, my phone thought that I was saying Siri. Okay, anyway, so uh, so yes, oh, right. So uh, even if Bitcoin is always number one in terms of, of market cap, 
<laughs> Sorry, I can't stop laughing at even, even if it is, though. Um, okay, fine. So let's say that Bitcoin has, a, at some point, a three, four, five trillion dollar market cap. Well, that doesn't sound crazy to me. That could, I don't know if it's going to happen, but it could happen. And so if, if uh, XRP does positionally what it's always done historically, which is continue to move up in terms of price over time, but be a lower percentage of whatever Bitcoin's uh, market cap is, well, is it crazy to think that XRP could have a $1.3 trillion market cap and then Bitcoin's got a three, four, five trillion dollar market cap at some point in the future? I don't think, I don't know what's going to happen, but again, I don't think that sounds crazy in the least. So, but, the, but again, if you're talking about a $1.3 trillion market cap, that's $25 XRP. And, and not that I believe necessarily that it's probable that that will happen uh, the next time a new all-time high is hit. Oh, uh, oh maybe it does. Um, I'm less optimistic about that. But at some point in the future, the idea of it hitting that doesn't sound crazy to me. And it still could. Like, I don't know. I just, I think that that's, you know, that would be a bit more of a stretch. But the idea of next time it hits a new all-time high, getting up to... You're talking eight, nine, ten, maybe eleven, twelve bucks, thirteen, so anywhere around there. That that sounds just to me, just my unprofessional, subjective perspective. Uh, that sounds a little bit more reasonable, but you, you never know. That's why I try to never say never, just in general, when it comes to crypto price action, because historically, over the last fourteen years, there've been no shortage of moments where crazy stuff happens and people get surprised. That's for sure. Including, by the way, when XRP went from like about half a penny to almost four bucks. And it had about an eight from the bottom of the top. It had about an 80,000% price increase. XRP did. So to think that couldn't happen again, I'm just like, eh. it can feel like that in moments like this, where it just, it's just like, oh, come on. It's been over half a decade. No, all time high. Well, okay, fine. But th that's, <laughs> this is how markets beat people up. It makes people feel like that. And some people even exit their positions and then it goes. I will never forget the YouTuber. I don't know who it was, but in, in December of 2017, I watched this video of this guy. I think he was on a playground. He might have been with this kid. I can't remember. I don't know if the video is still on. I, I've looked for it. I cannot find it. But this YouTuber, in you know, roughly middle of December 2017, days before XRP started climbing on its biggest hike in history, up to almost four bucks, the guy, this guy said, I've been holding XRP for however, whatever amount of time it was. And he's like, I just, I had to get out. I had to sell it. It wasn't doing anything for me. It did nothing. And I remember watching that and thinking, are you sure that's the best bet? And I was new to crypto. Um, but I was still wondering, I was like, is that really the best move right now? And just days later, it started just rocketing. <laughs> and then for two and a half weeks, roughly, it rocketed up, uh, hit uh, you know, multi -new, multiple uh, new all-time highs because it didn't go literally up in a straight line for the two and a half weeks. So it went up and then it went back down a little bit and then up again, down, up, up to almost four bucks, whatever, whatever it was. And uh, it, just, it just goes to show, like, the people who are patient and don't make their investment decisions based on you know, just feel feels their feelings. Because look, if you're if you're buying if you're selling stuff purely, uh, like say nothing's changed with the asset, but you're you're uh, you're selling purely because you're in, impatient. That's why you're selling. Good luck, man. Like good luck. Hope that guy learned a lesson because that was not the right thing to do. Obviously, like that. And, and even if you want to if you want to get out, that's fine. I'm just saying, in terms of that being the reason, it hasn't done anything on the timeline that I want. Because I'm a little baby and my, I want my Lambo in the moon time now. I want my Lambo now. Little baby back, biatch. It's like, chill. <laughs> so I'm just saying. Um, and then there was also this. So somebody wrote to Nick named Simon. And, uh, and Simon seemed to not particularly agree here. And uh, Simon wrote so, to uh, Nick and said, So the SEC suppresses the U.S. market, none other. So you think that the U.S. market, alone, he means market, he wrote marked, or maybe did he, he didn't mean that, right? You think that the U.S. marked alone will be enough for double digits? He's clearly on the market. Rest of the world can buy and sell XRP without any problems. EU have clear regulations now. Nothing holding XRP or Ripple back there. Same Asia in Asia region. Well, just look, I'll, I'm going to say this. Just consider... That, uh, you know, when, when XRP rocketed up to its all-time high half a decade ago, uh, almost all of that was because of people buying and selling XRP outside of the United States. It was only at the time probably 5 or 10% of all transactions occurring in the United States. So it's mostly humans outside the United States that cause that price. Now, even though the SEC v. Ripple action is absolutely a United States-based action, the reason that the global price of XRP plummeted was also almost entirely because of market participants outside the United States. And that might sound silly because they're outside the United States. 
but they all had the same reaction, right? It just is the case. And so here's how Nick responded. Delisted on major platforms, <clears throat> created a narrative that XRP is a security slash Ripple is dumping constantly, slowed U.S. expansion for Ripple with large XRP ODL corridors, not to mention U.S.-based partnerships disbanding. Lawsuit announced right at the moment all altcoins exploded, perfect timing for ETH to take over XRP spot. Yeah, I think XRP would have hit double digits without all that noise. Yep, I gotta say, I pretty well agree. <laughs> I think that that's quite probable that it would have. It's just a, sh it's just a shame, man. With, with how much our community's been through, I'll tell you what, when we get our day, like we des we freaking deserve it. We All of us. We When it finally happens, and it's not a guarantee, but should it happen, and I think it's that's what's most probable, we freaking deserve that. New all-time high price discovery, life-changing wealth for so many of you out there listening. Hell yeah. This is completely unfair what has happened, and we would have had this probably over two years ago, uh, you know, during the 2021 run, if not for the SEC. We already would have had our Lambo time and our moon time and all that crap. <sighs> so anyway, I just wanted to share some thoughts on this because sometimes, you know, I haven't made a video like this in a while, but sometimes it's just, it's worth having that happy, healthy, friendly reminder that's, yeah, it's easy to feel beat down, but if you just take a step back and look at everything that's going on and just approach it with a level-headed perspective, you can see that there's just there still is incredible opportunity and potential. And it's going to be okay. I firmly believe that it's going to be okay. We'll see what happens, but I am extremely optimistic. This is the most optimistic I've ever been about XRP because as I continue to cover this and research XRP in the world of crypto, I just keep seeing XRP increasingly being adopted, which makes me think, it ain't going away, you know, despite all this nonsense. I know that the, and I also know that the underlying asset, when it comes to securities law, the underlying asset itself is never the security. So even if it takes going to the Supreme Court, we're going to get our security, our clarity, because XRP itself, it's impossible for it itself to be a security. So if, no matter how long we have to wait, I'm just going to hold. That That's period. I am stubborn, and but it's it's not, it's not just for the sake of being stubborn. It's because I'm like, I'm right. I firmly believe that. For better or worse, and I think it'll be for better, I, I firmly believe I'm right. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the Moon Family Sedan.